The question is whether graphite is a metal or a nonmetal. So the thing to understand about graphite, graphite is made up of only carbon atoms. So it's just this one type of atom, carbon. And if we look at the periodic table here divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we can see that carbon right here, that's a nonmetal. So we only have nonmetals. And in graphite, these carbon atoms, which are nonmetals, are all bonded together. That's what makes graphite. So perhaps it's best to say that the carbon atoms that make up graphite, they're nonmetals, but graphite, probably better to call it a covalent or molecular compound, which consists of only nonmetals. Let's take a look at the structure of graphite briefly. So in our diagram here, our molecular model, each one of these black spheres, that's a carbon atom. And you can see they're all bonded together, the single bonds between them. So those are covalent bonds because we have all nonmetals here in the graphite. Graphite's interesting because it forms what's called a giant covalent structure, and these are these big sheets of graphite that form. You can think about it in three dimensions. So here you see that we have the graphite, these sheets, and they're separate from each other. That means that they actually have some interesting properties. First, they'll slide over each other fairly easily, so they make a pretty good lubricant. You can use pencil lead sometimes to lubricate keys that don't go in locks. That works really well. Second, it's fairly soft. If you're thinking about a pencil, a number two pencil that's made of graphite, it's a fairly soft material. And finally, even though we say it's made up of nonmetals, that it's a covalent molecular compound made of nonmetals, it does conduct electricity. That's because there are delocalized electrons that can move across the graphite that will conduct electricity. So in answer to our question, we can say that graphite is made up of nonmetals and that it's a covalent or molecular compound. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.